Hi, it's Lukish, and it's my pleasure to be invited to Leo Laredis channel to show you how I made my track Crossroads, which has been recently released on Euphonic and was played by some of my favorite DJs like Kieran Albert, Ellen Fila, Cosmic Gate, Siva and Viris, and many more, which made me really happy. And in this short video, I would like to show how it was done inside Bitwig, which is my main tool to create music. Uh, starting with some arrangements, you can see it's divided into two sections, one for original mix, one for extended mix. The way I usually work is to create the original mix first, send it off to a label, and if it gets accepted, then I would eventually create the extended mix. But now let's look at the original itself and its arrangement, which is quite common. It starts with some intro, slowly bringing all the elements in. And there's the first drop, some breakdown, second drop, and short outro, fading it out. When we look at the elements, starting from the top, there's low end marked in red, and the kick comes from bound to divide sample pack. There's no processing of the kick. I was just looking for the best fit for uh, this track. The sub bass is made with Diva, which is my main synth at the moment. It's filtered out to keep only the sub. And there's this arpeggiator to create the rhythm of the 16th notes. And there's shaper box for sidechain against the kick. In this case, it's 100%, but you can see I'm using this shaper box tool for sidechaining uh, for other instruments as well. Basically, the lower frequencies it plays, the more sidechain I would apply. Another bass plays this rhythm. And it's supported by another instrument for a bit of high end. I liked the clicky sound of it, so I layered it. And Tom, which is filtered to not to interfere with my sub. So all together, low end sounds like this. And there's actually part of the track where the arpeggiator is turned off just before the drop. So it has this relief and just flows here. You can play it with the rest of the track. Lagging a bit definitely needs better CPU, but the arpeggiator goes back here. So it was just automated for, for this part. Now we have all the drums. The clap is quite simple. It's just this Reso clap sample and the rhythm looks like this. So the second clap goes just before the fourth kick. The head's been layered. So here we have some closed heads and this one has some changes in velocity to make a bit of movement. Heads are evolving a bit during the track, so here are open heads added here. And the same applies over there. Now there's percussions. So some of them bent to the left, some to the right. 
And this is the basic rhythm of the drums that I created myself. But I always tend to layer it with uh, some loops to add a bit texture to the drums. So this is, this is how it sounds with the loops. The most prominent is probably the shaker. In some cases, I tend to edit loops. So if I don't like some samples, I just cut them out like this. The next thing are transitions. So here I have transition percussions made with claps. One to the left, one to the, light, to the right, and it sounds like this. And it's layered with those noise downlifters, cymbal, and crash. So all together, I use more of the downlifter during the second part of the track to bring more of this high-end energy there. So I believe that's all for the drums. And let's look at the synths. So here I use pigments, which plays the, the base, basic chords of track, repeats all over again. And the chord progression actually changes, so during the breakdown it turns into this. And this instrument is further supported by some arpeggiators and pads. So the first one is Diva. It's filtered out from the beginning. Here is some automation. And here it's brought completely in. Here is another pigment instrument which plays just single note. Because of this resonant frequency, I filtered it a bit. I would probably achieve the same thing uh, just by lowering the volume, but I did it this way. Another pigments instrument are strings. The first and fifth note, my key. And at the bottom we have some arpeggiators first one sounds like this again it's diva with some processing so the first is penman to create a bit more stereo without and with and the other one is decapitator or a bit of distortion so again without and with Real Life is actually a great plugin that I use to shape up the spectrum a bit because there's usually a lot of muddiness in this part, so it uh, suppresses some usually unwanted frequencies, making it sound better in the mix. And Valhalla Room for Reverb. Another one sounds like this. There's another Sound Toys plugin. Uh, this is again distortion, but a bit different from Decapitator. Uh, again, some Penman, Real Life, EQing, and Reverb. And these two arpeggiators actually complement each other. And the last one is quite interesting because the main character of the sound is created with this plugin. This is how it sounds without and with. 
So this is basically a creative way how you can change the character of the sounds just by dynamic EQ. Other than that, there's uh, Echo Boy, some EQization and Shaper Box for sidechain. This instrument is not that important in the mix, just plays in the background. But what's important for the song are the vocals, which come from Splice, and it's this phrase, where do we go, that repeats where all over. Go? Where do we go? And I used a little Alter Boy plugin to add some harmonics to the vocal, so this is how it sounds without it. Where do we go? And with. So when I turn it completely to the right, Where do we go? you can see what, what it does, but I wanted to mix it just a bit, something like this. Where do we go? And there are separate tracks for these echoes sounding this way. So again, one to the left, one slightly to the right. Another usage of the vocal is this track where I sampled it and made it go with the clap like this, along with the track. Another vocal part is this one, where I use tremolo to create the rhythm, making it go along with the track. This is how it sounds without. But because there's already a lot of these 16th note movements, I wanted uh, this to make along with it. So this is the basic structure of the track. The mixing was done inside of this project. For this purpose I created this small reverb that is applied as a return channel for some of the drums. Basically gluing it all together and making the mix sounding a bit smoother. Other than that, uh, I would usually make the final mix from scratch, uh, bringing all the levels down, starting with the kick and continue with other elements based on their importance in the mix. The mastering in this case was done by Kiao and Albert themselves by the label Euphonic. But what I would usually do in my other production, I would uh, usually use a mastering pipeline from Leo already, which is described in some of his videos. So definitely check this out. Other than that, I hope it was useful for you. Thanks for watching. If you like the track, you can follow me on Instagram and if you liked the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to Abstract Music Lab. Cheers. Cheers.